Sorry guys for that long break. We were looking at ScoreTag's top 10 car best cartoon games, so we were kind of busy. But we're back now and we can uh, do this, this top 10 best and worst Sonic games for you guys. them to create a mascot to compete with the face of video games. Sonic the Hedgehog. Since his breakthrough in 1991, he's been responsible for some of the best and worst games the world has ever seen. Whether it's a handheld, console, or even PC, we left no stone unturned in an attempt to find the classics and the absolute failures. Hey, I'm Stuttering Craig, and I'm Handsome Tom, for Screw Attack's Best and Worst Sonic Game. But first they're going to go to the yes. fire. <laughs> you know, you know, the, the first one the original was Sonic good. Was the signature game for yes, the it was. A game so fast, Sega had to make up a fake marketing for it. Wow, just look at all the animation and blast processing, which makes it faster than ever. Before Knuckles, before Tails, before that weird alligator guy, there was just it's a Spectre, man. An evil fat Spectre. Who wanted to destroy the creatures of the forest, and it was awesome. Compared to what we were seeing on the NES at the time, Sega had every right to brag. Yeah, they did. Well, not all handheld Sonic games have been that great. We gotta admit, the Sonic Advance series is pretty damn sweet. Why? It keeps the series at its roots. 2D. And it's fun. And fast. Yes, it One is. One thing you gotta remember when looking at Advance 3, you can play this game on the can. And since some Sonic games are so fast-paced, you can actually beat Dr. Robotnik by the time you're done doing number two. <laughs> Gross. Yes, it is. <laughs> the I agree. The best game on the Dreamcast I ever, agree that too. Sonic Adventure was the first real step in bringing the Hedgehog. Come on, we all agree on this. It was this. like a full-tech demo for what the DC could do. Heck yeah, we agree on this. Games in the Sonic series, totally Sonic we agree Adventure on this. Sonic Adventure is God. It has silky smooth controls and was fun. So why the hell do new Sonic games not play as well? You know, I don't know. Why can't they make the controls that great with the Sonic games now? They should go back to a decade ago so they can learn how to make the controls better. Team Sonic, I encourage you to do this. It would be awesome. Yeah, go get in that time machine to do that. That'd be great. Again. Sega is notorious for crazy ass ass. Right. While most of them failed, like the Sega CD, 32X, uh, are we looking at this crazy commercial while they're talking? Yeah. The expansion lets you play as Knuckles, so you can fly all around and explore oh, areas that you previously couldn't reach. That's Sonic and Knuckles so with the add-on. Well, it's like having three games in one, with extras. Props to Sega for making cool stuff before we have the ability to download new content with this whole internet bag. Ah. Uh. Dude, they put Sonic CD in We realized we just made fun of the CD add-on, but you know yes. what, there are actually a few good games, and Sonic CD was one of the best. It took all the greatest things about Sonic 1 and 2 and gave them upgrades that left us in awe. It has a classic feel with new visuals, some random 2D to 3D environments, great levels, and most of all, it was fun. That's yes. Just like Super Paper Mario. Yes. But 15 years. Totally. Ago, <laughs> totally. I agree with that. We had to play from now until the Blue Hedgehog finally croaks. It would be Sonic. Oh, uh, he's TV. never. Uh, he's never gonna. They're never gonna really stop making Sonic. They see the best. That's saying his bread and butter. The worst. There's a lot of them. Which one sucks the most? Let's find it. Wow. If we had to. Zeroing it down to only five crappy games in the Sonic series was tough, and it came down to 3D Blast and Sonic the Hedgehog for the 360. While both are infamous for their controls, we have to give the nod 3D Blast. Why? Because at the time, 3D Blast was wasn't that was so bad. Hard. Nowadays, he's on life support. There was once a time when 3D games didn't look like this. It looked like this. Sonic 3D Blast is like a 2D overhead with a bad angle. It just doesn't work. It's okay for me. Me too. We all know the 90s were littered with oh. hundreds and hundreds they are of not, games. They are not, not messing with my favorite two. game. Sonic freaking the Fighters. Okay, okay, uh, okay, Ani, calm down, calm down, dude, I'll calm down when I shoot Stuttering Craig in the face. 
nothing says quarter pop is born like being elected by a green Howard the Duck. I just want to punch them in the face. You know the best way to beat the competition? Okay, we all didn't like Sonic Shuffle, so, uh, yeah. Sonic Shuffle was a terrible rip Yeah, I can, I can agree with that. I can, I can live with that. Me too. That sucked. Yes, Chris. When do you think Sonic? What do you think? Hmm. Okay, Labyrinth. Sonic. Maybe. Sonic's Labyrinth yeah. kind of sucked. Yeah. yeah. Speed. Yes, yes, it did. Yeah, it kind of sucked. It sucked. Look at Sonic go. Now, we did have a ball to roll up into, but that wasn't the point. Throwing broken controls, eh, music, and gameplay that'll make you want to hang a puppy, and you've got one hell of a crappy experience. Warning. Watching the worst Sonic game of all time could lead you into the depths of depression. Give you okay. To a I was kind of mad for most of the, for some you of the worst games in there. Talk about the connect. Talk about Sonic yeah. Fighters. Now, destroy them. Guys. Sonic yeah. Sucks. Dude, what's no up? Uh, they're playing King of the Sunshine. Let's just pretend we don't hear it. The entire game could be filed under absolute suck. This is like a continuous punch to the balls over and over. Well, it's, no, no, no. well Sonic R is... Well, yeah, Sonic R is not... Sonic R is not great, but I know it isn't, like, troll, totally suck. I mean, you can a migraine, have some fun with it. Is up with the music. Man, this makes me feel like racing. Oh god, no! Okay, guys, we're okay as long as no one plays it backwards. Dude, just, just, just turn it Okay. As long as no one plays that song backwards, we are freaking cool. Just turn it off. Come to down stop, man. The down stop. He's got stuttering Craig. Oh crap. I think I just, uh. I think I need to clean my pants. Uh, well. Hey, guy. Yeah. Well, um. Uh, well, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this little thing of mock off. Um, we just wanted to do some, you know, top stuff. I mean. I mean, the episodes of Science of the Hedgehog we are technically going to do, but I kind of wanted to get the uh, top stuff out of the way so people can hear what we think about Screw Attack's top, top Sonic games and stuff like that. You know, but... Come on, guys. Sonic freaking Fighters in the worst. It, it was awesome to me. It was freaking awesome and great. I mean, no other, no other. I mean, there'll never be another Sonic Fighters, and I and I've come to realize that. But it was the best of what it was, and it really just made you want to play it. But that's just me. Well, anyways, guys, see you later. Um. And if you guys notice, we actually did, we're actually doing mock off pretty early, so we had time to do this. See you guys later. See you later. See you later. But si but seriously, bugs. What? Well, actually, guys, I think we can squeeze out another part because they're talking about the worst Sonic character side characters, so I think we can squeeze out another part for you guys, so actually there's going to be another part.